SD WAN for Quantum Spark. SD WAN technology enhances traffic management by intelligently selecting the most efficient routes. Let's see how it works. This is the SD WAN page. In the topic of the page, you can see the internet connections that are configured. This is the SD WAN blade control. You can enable or disable the blade. This is the probing setting where you can configure probing targets, interval, and result. Now let's take a look at the links and steering monitor. You can see here the live throughput, packet rate, and number of connections. You can view it per link or as a trend with history for each of the categories. Here you can see all the steering policies. You can view the status of each link in the latency, jitter, and packet loss when compared to the threshold. You can see the number of connections that go through each interface and for each steering object. You can also see the traffic itself and throughput. The SD WAN policy rule base on the policy tab includes the SMART SD WAN rule base. The SMART SD WAN rule base provides out of the box settings for the most common software applications. You can use either link aggregation or prioritization and set probing targets. You can also chain one or more prioritizations and set the order. Now, we are going to configure a new behavior and a new steering object. First, enter a name. Next, we will configure the threshold, links used in the steering, link utilization, and probing targets. Now that we have created a new steering object, we can add it to a new or existing rule. Here, we can select network objects configurable on the gateway or updatable objects. You can select any software application or combination of applications, such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams, 